There'll never be no comparison. You're live on the show. Sit back and have a listen. All right, all right, LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, folks, um, let me go ahead and talk about this, man, because, you know, Bermain's Tavern, Bermain's Tavern getting on my last damn nerve, okay? And he's adamant about fighting Deontay Wilder because he's the mandatory. You know, it's just one thing. Uh, Deontay Wilder already beat the hell out of you, you damn upside-down pineapple head fool. I mean, listen, man. You know, let me just say, you know, I, I don't commentate a lot on boxing these days. I just don't, okay? One reason, you know, yeah, I do do the women's MMA stuff. But, but folks, boxing is, boxing is a clusterfuck. Like, honestly, man, you got, you know, you got fighters that disregard the governing bodies when they order them to fight a certain fighter. They don't do that. You know, you got governing bodies protecting a certain fighter because, you know, they got promoters in there uh, that, that's putting them in their pocket. I mean, you know, you got governing bodies making up all these damn new belts at, at, at the whim. Like, are you serious? It's like these guys are making up rules as they go. There are no rules in place for boxing. Boxing sucks. There's too many damn belts, man. You know, and, and a casual fan, they can't tell you who a champion is. I mean, us hardcore fans, we know who the champions and the super champions are. We, 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 we know this. But the casuals that, that just want to see people, man, if they start getting into the technicality of boxing, that'll turn them off. They'll be like, damn, you know what? I've sat, I went over people's houses, okay? No, I, I, I'll give you a good example. I even went to a sports bar, okay? A lot of casuals in the sports bar watching, you know, we watching boxing, okay? And, you know, <laughs> a casual guy told me, he said, man, why does this guy have all these belts, man? I mean, what the hell does all these belts mean? And then another guy was like, yeah, man, I thought it was just one champion. And see, the casuals don't know. And I had to really explain it. And the guy said, man, what the hell? This, this too, I can't follow this. I can't follow this. It, it's too much. And to a casual fan that don't have a passion for boxing, uh, yeah, it's too much to follow. But this is what we allow in boxing. Now, all of a sudden, you want me to believe that Remains to Vern is the mandatory for Deontay Wilder after Deontay Wilder completely destroyed and whooped this dude ass. Look, Deontay Wilder beats uh, Bermain's Tavern ass so bad, Bermain got a concussion and had to go to the hospital. That was an ass whooping. This fight, it should have been stopped. But Bermain's Tavern, you know, and, and, and honestly, <laughs> honestly, Bermain's Tavern was not even on a Wilder level. First of all, Bermain's Tavern overweight, he flat footed. Okay, no mobility whatsoever. All he do is walk forward and hold his hands up. No head movement. Deontay Wilder hit that big upside down pineapple head at will. At will. He did whatever he wanted to do. Okay? And it's like, you know, I'm sitting here thinking, how does this guy who got his ass whooped like this, how does this guy become a mandatory? Oh, okay, these governing bodies. Of course. What, what the hell was I thinking? Okay? You know, and then let me just put him up on the screen. Yeah, look, oh, okay, no, 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 let, let me put what he really is. Upside, a uh, pineapple head, a pineapple head bitch. I mean, man, come on. The fight that we really want to see, Wilder Parker, I, I really, I don't even care about Parker. I want Wilder Joshua. I, I don't care about marinating the fight. I, I just, I want to see the best fights. Wilder beats Parker, Wilder beats uh, uh, Bermain Stavern. I don't want to see these little junk fights. Damn it. I want Wilder Joshua. Damn marinating. Damn how much money they can get. I want to see them two fight. That's all we've been talking about, man. Joshua Wilder. Look, look. Damn trying to build it up. Let's fight. Let's fight. Let's go. I'm a boxing fan. I am a fan. I don't care when y'all be telling me where Wilder can make more money. I don't care for that. Y'all speaking to somebody who ignored the hell out of you. I don't care. Okay? But this, this man, this pineapple head fool, okay, it's like him and then that damn Lippinets. Every time I hear the word or see the name Lippinets, I just want to vomit. When I hear the word Bermains to burn, I just want to vomit. And then, you know what? How long did it take him to get back into the ring after he got his ass whooped by Deontay Wilder? How long did it take? It must have took him a while because, you know, you've seen him in a lot of Floyd Mayweather Jr. videos. And I almost thought he was a, a, a security for Floyd because he was always around Floyd. Then he was around uh, Andre Berto. I'm like, what is this dude, man? Is he like a security guard for these guys? He's always around Berto. 
You know, and I think him and Berto are good friends. But, but you know, I'm sitting here thinking, man, you got to be out your damn mind, man. And you know what? Now this, this pineapple head ass idiot done got a lawyer to try to make Deontay Wilder fight him. If I was Deontay Wilder, I wouldn't fight him. But then, you know what? You know what they do? They'll strip mother belts if they don't fight him. Convenient. Very convenient that they put this idiot in the ring. Who Deontay Wilder already demolished. You know what? Why can't Wilder go against the governing bodies? I mean, hell, everybody else do, and they successful. Everybody else do, they successful. I mean, man, that's what's wrong with boxing, man. That's why you've had a lot of good channels here on YouTube, man. They just don't make videos no more. Like, what? what's the point? Like, you sit, you make these videos, and then it's like you start thinking to yourself, damn, you don't get the fights you want to see most of the time. I will admit in 2017, I've seen a lot more fights than, you know, I, I've seen that I wanted. But it's like now, okay, boxing going back to it. At first, the heavyweight division was cracking, and then the welterweight division was full of crap. Now the welterweight division is starting to heat up. Now the heavyweight division is full of sh PG-13 channel again. And it's, it's the same narrative, man. Either somebody on juice so they ain't got to fight somebody, or somebody don't want to fight somebody because they got an excuse. These ain't no real champions, y'all. These ain't no real champions. They're they not true champions. I'm not trying to hit it. The only ones that I think that's left who, who like, literally, they want to get in there with tough comp. You got Errol Spence Jr. who, you know, pretty much will fight anybody. Okay, you got him. Let me think. Who else can I think? Who will fight it? You got Deontay Wilder who will fight anybody. And, you know, needless to what you guys say, he can't help people doping. He can't help people clearly don't want to fight him. He can't. I mean, hell, Anthony Joshua came out the other day and said, yeah, Deontay Wilder's the best heavyweight. What does that tell you? I don't want to fight him right now. Folks, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, <sighs> God almighty. And then people wonder why. Hey, coach, man, you don't make enough boxing videos, man. You need to make a little bit more boxing videos. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you make a boxing video? Why don't you talk about it? Why don't you make a boxing video and shut your damn mouth and know your damn level when you're talking to the coach? I'll tell you what, you get your monkey ass out of the coach's comment section. That's what you do, because the coach will smack the yellow right off your teeth. Those silly ass dudes. Silly ass huckabucker ass dudes running around here. Slap the hell out of somebody. Trying to talk that noise. Man, y'all crazy. Y'all see this going on. But it probably won't be a it, it, it won't be a lot of outrage on this. It won't. It won't. This quarter pound this quarter pounder with cheese head, upside down pineapple head fool, he'll probably get away with it too. You know what? They'll probably order this fight and strip Deontay Wilder. Knowing Deontay Wilder could be fighting a bigger fight a much meaningful fight. But see, you know what? And I can even understand if Bermain Stavern it was a close fight. I I I, I, would, I, would, I would roll with Bermain. I'd be like, okay, yep, let's go. I would be there, but then it's like, this fight wasn't even close, man. And then you got this dude looking like, damn, what, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man here. Let, let me show y'all. I mean, this dude don't even take care of his physique, don't take care of his body. I mean, dude, how do you come in here? And I saw his training camp. Did you see what he was eating during his training camp? Did you see what the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man was eating during training camp? And this dude, you know, you don't they don't take care of their bodies. You had some of the fighters that are old, like Tyson. You had Lewis. I mean, you had Bo. These guys, oh, no, okay, okay, I ain't going to say Bo. I'm sorry. You got Klitschko, both Klitschkos. They took care of their bodies, man. They came in shape, ready to go 12 rounds. But, man, Stavern, look at this, man. Look at this. This dude got, I don't know what that is on this mid-session. That, that might be doo-doo that need to come out. That might be um, all the popcorn, pop-tart farts in the system. I, I don't know. Man, please stop it. Deontay Wilder put this dude in the hospital last time here. Next time he going into a coma, he fight him. It would be in Bermain Stavern's best interest not to fight him. But this is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe.